So here's how to use the Data Color Spider X Pro to calibrate your monitor. First, you actually want to leave your Spider X unplugged, then go to Lowe's website, which will be in the description, and download the software. While the software is installing, feel around your monitor for some sort of joystick or buttons and look for settings to control the RGB. So here I have a gain, which is what I need. Remember if you have this or not, because you'll need it later. Once the software is installed, make sure the display has been on for half an hour, reset your monitor settings, and then plug in your Spider X. Now go to File, Preferences, then go to Advanced Settings. And if you have the RGB sliders, which I was talking about earlier, then check this. Click next to run through the wizard until you get to this screen. You might be confused by your backlight type. You want to go to the website displayspecifications.com, enter your model, mine's the Dell S2721DGF, then scroll down until you find backlight. Note that WLED means white LED, which just means standard LED. It is not a wide LED. Once you find your backlight type, click next, and then click full cal if this is your first time, and then click next again. Now comes the fun part. Pull apart the lens cap and then place the Spider X on your monitor. I recommend cleaning it of dust. Also, if you can, have your monitor at a slight angle that way so that gravity cannot hold it into place. Once it does, if you turn on brightness calibration, you'll have your personalized target. I personally have it off and I just aim for 200 candelas per meter squared. Alrighty, so now we're gonna click next and just try to move the mouse away from the center of the screen. And it's gonna take a few seconds for the first part. Now you're going to adjust the RGB sliders with your monitor OSD. Now, I already have my monitor calibrated, so it's good. All you do is adjust the red, green, and blue um, up or down just to get it so that's within that little rectangular bar. When you're done, click continue. And then wait uh, until the brightness screen pops up. It's going to pop up very shortly. So I'm just going to spam update until the continue button is able to click. Um, so there we go. Just keeping it at 200. And then... Now you just have to let it sit there until you click finish. Nothing else to do. Once you're done, snap that back together. And you can now compare the old uncalibrated version and the new calibrated version. You can see especially the reds in my old one are very inaccurate. I find the color palette to be most useful because you know you can see all the colors and how the accuracy has changed. Now you're completely done. Uh, just this last screen, you can see how much of like each industry standard color gamut uh, you can cover. So this monitor, you can see how much it covers of those four there. So that's how you use the Data Color Spider X Pro. I got on sale for just $130, and I highly recommend it if you can afford it. Follow the Modern Lifestyle for more computer tips and tricks.